We're driving with OnStar. We are, yeah, but we're driving with OnStar, though, and um, it's not a GM vehicle. Yes. What? That's Never physically impossible. That. And we're going to talk about it. Let's talk about it. So we got episode 17, OnStar. Episode 17, OnStar, FMV, which stands for For My Vehicle. So, you any know, vehicle. Every, every, any, any vehicle. Right. So everybody um, who, well, let me, let me just start with, let me, let me just back up here, right? So you can get FMV at a Best Buy um, right now, I believe, for less than 200 bucks. I think it's $199. Um, and Best Buy will actually install it for you as well. Right. So you know, definitely go out there, pick it up. I, I think it's definitely worth worth the uh, worth the while. And they have a nice so, they have a nice uh, um, uh, whole presentation there as well, so you can really yeah. take a look at what what they, they have to offer. They, they really really do. So let me just run through the stats real quick here. So compatible with most vehicles, um, and OnStar services required, which is like either either eighteen ninety five or twenty eight ninety per month. Um, automatic crash response. Gives a priority connection to uh, an advisor anytime, anywhere. Um, you have roadside assistance. You have stolen vehicle assistance. Um, it can help the police find you through GPS location, turn-by-turn -turn navigation, hands-free calling, stay connected without your mobile phone in your hand, and also Bluetooth capable. Right. So, so what is this thing on Star FMV? So. Basically, what it is is that we all know that in most gym vehicles, right, there is a service called OnStar that's actually built into the car, and it's a wonderful service. And I've always admired the service, although I've never really played around with it until a couple months ago when when Chevy contacted me and said, "Would you like to take a look at our OnStar FMV?" And I said, "You know what is that?" He said, "Well, all it really is is that it's we took OnStar, we shrunk it into a little package, so it's actually your your rear view mirror now, and that this can be installed. And in, I believe I forget the actual number, but it's, it's like tens of thousands of cars now, and it can be installed, and you can have OnStar in any non-GM car." Mm -hmm. um, so they gave me a Toyota to test drive. So a, I had a Toyota, a Toyota, a Toyota Camry, <laughs> which is pretty cool, by the way. Um, which had FMV installed, and my wife and I and our son, we took a drive up to Sleepy Hollow in New York, in New York State. And, you and know, as he was passing the headless horseman, it was like a butt crane. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we, we just drive. We know how to get. Like we've been there plenty of times. But yes. you know, I hit the blue button, and I said, um, and I said. No, someone came on and said, may I help you? And I said, yes. And I, I told her exactly where I was going. And she said, not a problem. And they downloaded the turn-by-turn -turn directions. Um, so that was really cool. So I really think, I mean, I have a Honda. Um, I have a Honda Civic. And it has a great navigation system. And, and I would have given it up for the world. But there is something to be said when someone actually chimes in and says, hi, how may I help you? I can't tell how many times we you we had it for for about a week I believe it was the car or a weekend I forget what it was, and I can't tell you how many times we used it. Primarily because we want to talk some to somebody, right? So we say, hey, we, 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 there's, we want to go to a diner. You know, is, is there a diner in the area that has like Greek food? You know, and, and she and most times. Uh, the it, the agent was like, sure, absolutely. Let me just go look for you. Give me one second, please. And as they're looking and doing their stuff in the back end, they're talking to you. They're having a conversation. How, how are you today? How's everything going? How's your day? Um, where are you going today? How many people in the car? So on and so forth. And by the time the conversation was ended, they had the information you wanted. So that was so awesome. I mean, I really appreciate that. And I really think for that purpose alone, um, this is a real big home run for, for, for GM. It really is. Yeah, I think I think the most part. A lot of people say, "Okay, why should I buy OnStar?" Right. So there are some people who are technologically sound enough to be able to use a device and get to where they're going mm. appropriately, routed appropriately on time, etc. But I think there is something to be said about how electronic items search for destinations, locations. Yeah understand the context and i think context is the the biggest mm -hmm. thing sure and be able to understand okay you have to get from here to here but 
there are many different ways to get from here to here. So what's the most logical way? Not necessarily what is the fastest on this map right. um, or what restaurant fits the criterion of yeah. saying Vietnamese or, yeah. you know, Hungarian yeah, that, or that barbarian crazy. food or whatever it is. That was right. so awesome. I mean, uh, that, that, when, when I said, you know, we want to go to a diner, mm -hmm. um, you know, that, that has, you know, Spanish food, for example, you know, the, the fact that they actually, t actually said, okay, let me check. Right. That blew me away. That just blew me off. I so, said, you know, that in and of itself is, is a massive selling point. Let's forget about, you know, the, the, the terrible things that, you know, God forbid you're in a car accident and God forbid that, you know, you're in an emergency situation, excuse me, where you actually need OnStar to make a phone call for you to to the police department or or, or, or the uh, or the um, ambulance or whomever it might be, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's phenomenal. That, that's great. I mean, from what I understand, they do that better than anybody else. Right. But it's it's those little things, right? I mean, I think as consumers, we're we're super impressed by the little things, by you saying hi to me, by you saying hello, by saying how how's your day today, um, and the fact that you know I can have these conversations with with uh, an OnStar agent, um, and they can help me find that you know diner that that with, with Spanish food, is is pretty awesome. And hands free. And it's that's, all hands free. And that's something very interesting because of all hands free. legislation that. I hope does not pass, but mm. certain legislation which says you cannot operate any electronic item uh, mm. in your hand or whatever, and that is something that's very important. That they're kind of doing that deduction and and mm. and context work, contextual work, right. for you while you're concentrating on doing your business, and then download all the stuff automatically to your device, which yeah. then reads off where to Absolutely. go. So, I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll say, listen, um, okay, have your information. Would you like me to download it to your, to, to your OnStar vehicle? Mm -hmm. And I, obviously you would say yes. Otherwise, why are you calling? Right. Exactly. And, um, and as you're, as, as she, or he is finishing up with you, information is being downloaded to your OnStar vehicle or, or FMV and ping it's up and running. Right. It's ready to rock and roll. It's telling you, you know, make it right, make it left, take this, take that. And that, and that's pretty impressive. Now that's one aspect, right? The other aspect of course, is the safety aspect. Right. So, and, and that's, right. and that's pretty awesome. I mean, mm -hmm. I, and I, I, unfortunately I share the stats in front of me and, and, I, and I don't, right. but you know, they have an incredible infrastructure set up to, to make sure that God forbid you are in a car accident, you need some medical emergency, you need a police officer, you need anybody from emergency services to come to your assistance, they will take care of. You. Right. They, they will stay on the phone with you. They'll they'll make sure the police are there, the fire department's there, ambulance is there. Whoever needs to be there, they'll make sure they're there. And it, it's interesting there because when I went out to to um, Dearborn, Michigan, their their headquarters, um, they were saying they have a high percentage of people that just call the OnStar agents just to talk because they're sleepy. So it's like right. three in the morning. You know, this guy or, or, you know, dad or mom are coming home from work or wherever they're coming home from and they're tired, they need someone to talk to, they'll just hit that button and they'll just start talking. And, and, I, and I asked the guy, I said, you know, is that, is that accepted? You know, is that acceptable? You know, right. do, do you guys actually facilitate that? I said, absolutely. And I would it's, imagine also, and, I, and this, I'm sorry to cut you off, the, uh, let's say for a, a minor, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say a child that you, you send your child out with a car if they get diverted through a bad neighborhood or, or, or are scared for the, you know, maybe something's going on outside or maybe they just don't know where the hell they are, right. they could call them and say, look, I, I, I'm in a shady area. Mm -hmm. Just stay on the phone with me just to make sure that I have the peace of mind oh, sure. that somebody else is yeah. on the phone with me at 2 a.m. that, it, God forbid, <laughs> something happens, you got my I, back and call somebody. I would not doubt it. I would not right. doubt it at all. I mean, just the, the, the infrastructure they have in place is, is pretty incredible. Right. And they, they, it seems like they are there to do one thing, one thing only is help you. Right. That's pretty much it. And, and I really have no no cons to say about this. I really don't. For a service that can protect your life, mm -hmm. I have no cons about it. Um, for the FMV um, in and of itself, though, I do have one or two uh, uh, cons. Actually, just one con. It's the fact that because... Um, it's not a traditional GPS, meaning it's right. not in your dashboard. It's a, just a, a, a rear view mirror sitting on top. Um, there's no visualization. Right. So you, it, it's, it's all audible saying, you know, drive straight, make a left, turn now, whatever the case might be. Um, so, it, and, and it's funny though, right? Because Jesse and I have found ourselves actually having to pay attention because we're so used to driving our car that has like a, you know, a nice, like whatever, you know, six inch display 
that you know you know, turns left and turns right and goes straight and you can see structures and whatnot. Um, we had to pay attention to make sure that we were going the way that the GPS said we were supposed to be going. Yeah, so I, I, thought, I, I right. agree with you on that completely. I Somehow I feel that there's almost, even though you're not supposed to look, I feel like there's almost a comfort in having a, a, some kind of map in front of you yes. where you can kind of determine how far you are away from that turn. Oh. They may say 300 feet or a half a mile, but you really don't know, depending on how fast you're going, exactly yeah. how far that is. It's nice to see it. It's nice yeah. to see that little, like, you, you could see yourself getting closer. So yeah. I would love for them to also give an option of maybe doing, like, almost a, a Google Maps or a hop stop or a glimpse to another device where that could be displayed to your co-passenger and then they could say, yes, that's true, turn right here. Right. The, the next street is Jones Street and then after that is the turn which is Main Street so that that would that I think would be another added feature but yeah I agree so this, with you. this is FMV version I believe 1.0 right I could be wrong, but I believe it's version 1.0 so they they are speaking to other car manufacturers mm -hmm. that where they can actually hook better into that car system right um because as of right now uh the, the this FMV package can only do certain things because right. it's not plugged into the car so it can't tell you your air pressure it can't tell you how much gas you you've expended um and so on and so forth because it's not plugged into your car so they're working with all the car manufacturers to see if, they can, if there's a way they can actually plug into into that third party car cool. um so you know will we see some type of um you know, API like like a like a three inch screen or five inch screens so that you just right. place on on your dashboard and and, and go from there Perhaps, right. perhaps, but um, but I think they've they've done a great job. I think doing doing it very very well. I had a great time driving the car. My wife had a great time driving the car using the FMV, and we love the fact that we can just hit that blue button and and, and talk to somebody. So what do you give it? Four remotes. Four remotes. I I absolutely loved it. I thought it was fantastic, and and I thought it was initially very very expensive at first. Um, I think it was almost four hundred bucks when it first came out, but. Right. From what I've seen now at Best Buy, it's on sale for about 200 bucks, um, and I think installation is already included with that. So that's pretty, that's pretty incredible. So head down to Best Buy, check it out. Let check us it. know what you think, and drive safely. All right, guys. See take you later. later. As always, thanks for watching. Only cool people press subscribe. Right here. Right. All right, so I, I honestly think that what we should be in, what we should do is every time have at least three beers before we start this. Oh really? <laughs> what? It's like what? Yeah, just a bunch of drunk. I don't even know what we're talking about. Talk about technology. <laughs> <laughs>